Before the rest of us can win some money, we need to bring out the woman with all her numbers exactly where they should be. And today, you can vote for my co-host. Hit A, and you get Elle McPherson. Hit B, and you get Megan Atherton. Are you ready? Only kidding, there's only one choice in my mind. Hold on to your handhelds, it's the wonderful Megan Atherton. <laughs> Megan. Shall we win these people some money? Mm, I think that's a fantastic idea. Today's show is full of all sorts of games, but first, everyone needs to get in to win. Right, we're almost ready to play, but before we do, we need the woman who knows her numbers. Please welcome the fabulous, the fantabulous, the farafantabulabulous. Even made up words don't do her justice. It can only be Megan Atherton. <laughs> A bit over the top today, Vic, but thanks anyway. Shall we move along to the games? In a minute, we'll be playing for the real big prizes. But such a serious undertaking demands a serious number cruncher. Please welcome part woman, part computer, the beautiful Megan Atherton. <laughs> you look fabulous. Thanks, Vic, and you too. Seriously. Let's get on to the first game, because you've got to be in to win. Numbers that are part of your winning pattern will be marked in colour. Numbers not in your winning pattern are marked in grey. You can use the icons button to personalise your bingo experience and the views button to change the number of cards displayed on your screen. The cards button cycles through all your cards. You will be playing multiple cards at once, but don't worry, the computer will always keep your best card in the upper left in multi-card view and in front in single card view where you can see it. As you get close to winning, you will see a small green box on each card that tells the numbers you need to win. When you complete the pattern, the bingo button will start to flash red. You must press that button to claim bingo. When someone calls bingo, the game will automatically stop for verification. No more bingo calls. The game is now closed and the win verified. Congratulations. Let's see those stats. As you can see here, my card is the Seven of Clubs. Cards are now appearing on your handheld screen. When you see my card, the Seven of Clubs, touch it as quickly as possible. In a moment, a police lineup of dastardly villains will run across the big screen. Pay close attention to the order in which they run. You will have to repeat that sequence by touching the villains on your handheld in the same order in which they appeared on the big screen. If you make a mistake, you are out for that round. When you hear this sound, watch the big screen because the next round is about to begin. I have turned on your handheld so you can try it. Watch the big screen, then repeat the pattern on your handhelds. Here we go. Pay close attention. After Vic runs through 25 cards on the big screen, you will see them again in the same order on your handheld. When a card appears on your handheld screen, press the higher or lower button to tell whether you think the next card will be higher or lower. Remember that aces are high. The scores for today's session are all in. And this is how the teams fared. Here's the pattern you'll be playing and the amount you could take home if you win the game. Okay, everyone, let's start the game. Good luck. Only the winner of the last game is playing now. Remember, each digit must be correct and in the right place. Get one right and you get $50. Get two right and you win 100 If you get three digits correct, $1,000 will be coming your way. And if you get all four digits right, you won't believe this. You will drain the ATM machine and you will win $20,000. But not only that, with four correct digits in the right sequence, the rest of the audience will each go home with a share of $5,000. So get behind them. You've got five seconds to enter each digit. If you don't enter it in time, a random digit will be assigned to you. Once all four digits are in, we will reveal the correct pin number and see what you've won.